In Ukraine, the Korean origin of the Opel Antara and its brother Chevrolet Captiva did not bother buyers at all. And there were a lot of them, because the car came out sound and devoid of serious childhood diseases characteristic of all new models. And those weaknesses that were nevertheless found were meticulously eliminated by the manufacturer during the modernization and restyling of 2011. In other words, Antara delivers a few system troubles. We felt it our duty to introduce you to them. Until 2011, the crossover was sold with only two petrol engines, a 2.4-liter 142 horsepower 4 and a 3.2-liter 227 horsepower V6. Both units are Opolevsky, but they are united by an increased fuel consumption in comparison with the declared one. At the same time, the dynamics of a car with both engines does not seem heroic at all. They brought us front and all-wheel drive cars with 5-speed transmissions, mechanics and automatic, which after 2011 became 6-speed. By the way, the boxes are the least of all complaints. They age with dignity and serve properly. But on the motors there are small nuances. Fuel consumption has already been said, keep this in mind. When driving in a free Sunday city, 13 to 14 liters, 100 kilometers for a 2.4 engine can be considered the norm. I don't want to talk about Appetite 3.2 but the 4 is reliable and unpretentious. Its only prank can be considered the crankshaft oil seal, which can begin to leak after 60 to 70,000 km. With V6 more hassle. Already after 50 to 80,000 km, it can ignite check and scare with a drop in traction. This means that you need to prepare the equivalent of about 500 euros to replace the extended timing chain with tensioner. The problem is common and typical. However, the steering rack should be recognized as the most serious design flaw. The appearance of knocks and increased steering wheel play usually appear already at a range of 50 to 70,000 km. The rack rod bushings become unusable, which accelerates the wear of the steering shaft bearing. For gearboxes, as already mentioned, the problems are minimal. More questions about the rear axle plug-in drive system. Delays are possible when the clutch is activated. In addition, the propeller shaft outboard bearing can easily be torn off the road. But even the most careful have complaints about leaking, especially in cold weather. Rear axle gearbox oil seals and vibrations caused by wear of the drive shaft cross with a run of 60 to 80,000 km. Almost all Antar owners are familiar with this cross, as it is located too close to the exhaust system. Hence the increased fluidity of the lubricant from nearby bearings, and the destruction of the anther support. Injection and additional lubrication of loaded elements can slow down the process to some extent. Suspension reliability can be assessed as average without frankly weak points. The body is galvanized, which, however, does not give a guarantee against corrosion of the fifth door. Crickets in the cabin, a rarity. The only thing that can be noted is the poor frost resistance of the leather trim. It happens to break. There are no special claims on the part of electricians. So, in principle, a crossover can be considered a good option to buy. We mentioned the crankshaft oil seal and timing chain above. In addition, gasoline engines are sometimes characterized by starting not the first time. Possibly bad fuel. Sometimes in winter, after a long movement at high speed, it happens that the engine stalls under the release of gas. More often this phenomenon occurs on Antars with a 2.4 engine. A failed cart and shaft cross or outboard bearing is not yet a reason to replace the entire cart and assembly. For example, a bearing can be replaced in a regular service for only a couple of thousand hryvnios. In winter, the rear axle gearbox oil seals often begin to leak due to a clogged breather. Steering rack repair can cost 2, if you're lucky, and 6,000 yuan. But its replacement with the new original analog will cost tens of thousands. In addition, you should not particularly trust contract rails, their resource is very small. Another misfortune, due to a weak clamp in cold weather. The high pressure hose of the power steering pump often breaks. Front shock absorbers leak after 80 to 100,000 km. Racks and bushings of the front stabilizer are handed over even earlier, after about 50 to 60,000 km. Silent blocks of lever serve 80 to 100,000 km each. The most common electro glitch is considered to be souring contacts and failure of the rear ABS sensors. They are corroded by road reagents. The appearance of a malfunction will be indicated by an icon on the instrument panel corresponding to the system. There are complaints about a failed heater fan motor. A new motor costs about 6 to 7,000 yuan. But he can also sing.